So there's a dirty little word out here and that word is submission. And if you are a family of faith, <clears throat> then there's a lot of urban legend around that word, around what it looks like. And I, I want to put this out here for the brothers, for the men. Submission does not mean that your woman no longer has her own opinion, her own thoughts, or her own beliefs. Many men believe that submission means that your wife obediently agrees to everything you have to say. And that is not what submission is. And a lot of times, if you are demanding that form of behavior in expectation that that's what submission looks like, you are going to have endless conflict and strife if your wife has a mind of her own. <laughs> and so one of the things that I just want to encourage you men out there, there's a lot of times that you can see the issue that's going on with your wife. You can see um, areas that if she could see what you see, she would be safe. She would be protected. She would avoid some heartache. And you tell her, <clears throat> you tell her very plainly, hey, this is that and this is this and this is that. She may not hear you. And the reason why she doesn't hear you is because she has her own opinions, her own thoughts and her own beliefs. But even more, and this is really, really important, man. If your wife has not healed from rejection, abandonment, or anxiety, then even when you're only presenting her with a solution, all of that, she's only hearing you rejecting her. She's only hearing that you're going to abandon her. And only her worst fears are what she hears until she has healed to the point where she can receive your counsel. The good news is that she can heal and get to that point where she can receive your counsel, but you have to exercise some patience and some wisdom. You can't be blunt with your wife when she is in an unhealed state. You can't just say it when she has not healed from her wounds that the closest person to her threatens a reoccurrence of the things that she fears the most. Men, a lot of times, 90% of the time, what you're saying is spot on. But it is not your place to be your wife's counselor or therapist. And it is not your place to fix her or her needs if she hasn't invited you into that space. And she's, she's not refusing to respect you and she's not refusing to be submissive. She's just asking you or requiring you to respect that she also has opinions, thoughts, and beliefs. But we'll be unpacking this submission thing a little bit more. I want to start with the men today because we hear you here at Law for Love. For 13 years now in family practice, I got very, very comfortable telling people that the number one complaint that we heard from our clients, our female clients in family crisis is that their husbands don't listen. But what I have found and what I want for everyone to be aware of, because men don't always advocate for their feelings the way that they should, is that most of the men that we work with have the very, very same need and they want to be heard as well. We're needing the same things. We have different ways of approaching them and we need to figure this out so that we can strengthen our families and we can all feel respected and honored in our family spaces.